Coming up in today's video, I hike the Western Brook Point Gorge in Grossmoor National Park to the most spectacular viewpoint in all of Newfoundland and possibly all of Canada. Stay tuned for my most epic photography adventure yet and a gallery of images at the end. I do apologise in advance for the wind noise in a couple of the clips, but it will give you a real sense of the place. Enjoy the video and please consider subscribing. Guys, the day has finally come. It is the day for my hike up the Western Brook Gorge and uh, it's going to be phenomenal. It's cancelled the other day because of the, the real heavy rain and mist and fog and uh, I decided that if I'm going to get a photograph at the top of that mountain then that wouldn't have been the day. So back here today at Out East Adventures here in Rocky Harbour. Uh, seem like a nice bunch of guys and I'm going to be tagging along with them and we are going up the Western Brook Gorge. Uh, I am so pumped, absolutely so pumped. I seen this hike 10 years ago when I first came to Newfoundland and uh, I'm just so excited to be finally doing this hike and hopefully get an epic view at the top uh, and capture a fantastic image up there. Uh, not sure what I'll be able to do in the way of video and B-roll and stuff because I don't want to slow people down. But uh, yeah, I'm here, finally. <laughs> and I am just so pumped. Uh, I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. Got to go inside, sign the waiver and uh, listen to the safety precautions. So uh, see you in a bit. So guys, the uh, F1 landscape photography road trip is about to get serious. I've arrived in the parking lot of the Western Brook Pond. Uh, we're going to take a boat ride across the pond, a uh, rather quick boat ride, and then we're going to go out on our epic hike. Uh, our guide, has, Brad, has told us some stories. Uh, it's not to be underestimated, this hike, uh, but it's going to be a blast. Uh, we're going to be... We could encounter some wild animals. Uh, there are moose in the area, uh, there are bears in the area, and there's mosquitoes in the area. So I've already covered myself in bug spray. Don't know if you can see behind me. That's Western Brook Pond in there. Uh, and way at the back is the hike we're going to be embarking on. It's a long hike, it's going to be all day. We are going to be wading through water up to our knees at least. Uh, so it's going to be a blast and I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, not to be underestimated, and <laughs> people have done, uh, there has been a few uh, helicopter rescues from here, so uh, yeah, the adventure begins, F1 landscape photography road trip, and hopefully we'll get an image at the end. Uh, the group I'm going with, fantastic group of people, uh, we are a team, we're working as a team, we're walking as a team. And whatever happens to one of us, happens to all of us. So, uh, yeah, it's going to be an awesome day and I'm super pumped. Right now would be three miles of ice, moving at about ooh, zero kilometers an hour, okay? The weight of that pushed this ground down below sea level. And when the ice melted, of course, filled this up full sea water. But, a byproduct of the ice melting, this land started to pop back up. It causes a phenomenon known as isostatic rebound. Say that. Isostatic rebound. Oh, not yeah. just beautiful, but the brain's <laughs> with it. Right? Isostatic rebound. <laughs> what do you say? I said she's the smart one. <laughs> the ground ro she rose said, up. <laughs> the ground rose up. Isolated this body of water from the ocean, glacier melted, flushed all the salt water out, and what was left over is the purest water in the world. Okay, there's a half dozen places on the planet that has water in it they consider ultra oligotrophic. Say that, Petey. Oh, yeah, oh, fuck, you're on the hook now, buddy. We ain't going anywhere until you say ultra oligotrophic. Ultra electric. Close enough. <laughs> Ultra oligotrophic. With no mineral content comes no microbiology. Right? The water's so pure it doesn't even sustain life. It's kind of fucked up if you ask me. Uh, with no microbiology 
No small feeder fish, no small feeder fish, no big feeder fish, right? On and on and on. There is a migratory salmon run that can be come Pitcher plant. Pitcher plant. Tell me what you know about the pitcher plant, Johnny. They eat sunset. Time machine for two. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you both want to go? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so on the count of three, we're going to go whap, whap, and we're going to touch heels. Ready? I already told you I couldn't dance or anything. <laughs> okay? All you have to do is do that okay. after doing this. Okay. Okay? And then you gotta go, whoa! Ready? One, one, two, three. <laughs> whoa! Okay. Where did they go? I can't see them. Oh my god. Oh my god. Zoom yeah. me now. Zoom me. Okay? We've gone back to 1906. So guys, Mount Western Brook Pond. Some of the group getting on the boat there. Look at that queue behind you. Absolutely amazing. So we've got a 30 minute boat ride across the pond. And then probably, I don't know, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, or eight, who knows. It's gonna be it. Check that out. That is amazing. Just at the um, trough, you see a patch of rock. That's our view. So when is the most rain The last time we were in, I had to take people up and around these rocks. But it looks like right now we're going to be we're going to be golden. We're going to be golden. Yeah, this is beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Right now we're normally soaked.
No problem. We just captured the elusive Scotsman <laughs> in his native habitat. I was like, this is it. <laughs> oh no, there's two more coming. On her. This is bullshit. Beautiful. Yeah, but it was supposed to be cascading water. Well, didn't it always go up and down like it rains? Like it rains tomorrow. Will this rain? Yes, it will. If it rains substantially. Is that wow. the way it's Guys, this is one epic adventure. What a blast. That's where we're going to stop and eat lunch, okay? Yeah. We're looking at ten, not even 10 minutes from now. We just stopped for lunch here by a waterfall. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, filled the water bottles from the water, running water. Freshest water ever. Washed off the face. Washed some of the sweat off. Amazing. Amazing height. Amazing people. Amazing day. Amazing place. <laughs> Well guys, this section of the hike has uh, got the heart pumping for sure, it's pretty epic, absolutely amazing. Oh, <laughs> It's going to be a few swear words before the end, that's for sure. Fuck. Gavin Hardcastle, eat your heart out buddy. Oh, this is one workout. That section was pretty steep, I had to put the camera in a the bag there. Just look at this scenery man, I'm going to spin you guys around. It's absolutely incredible. We've been up to our knees in water, actually higher than that, walking through waterfalls. Absolutely stunning. What a group of people and uh, what an amazing adventure. And a big thanks to Nick and Brad for uh, helping us through the trail. Epic.
so guys, I did it. <laughs> I actually did it. What an epic view. Big thanks to Brad and Nick for getting us up here. That last half hour was really strenuous. Uh, what an awesome group of people we got here too. Absolutely amazing. Look at the view behind me there guys. Look at that. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. Side by side. I'll take the And this time around I'm scrolling. I, I, I start to get to know you. Pre curious. So, so you're over here. You're in the same next room. And then you and then you. Guys, I've never done anything like this in my life. Probably never will again. This is absolutely stunning. Pure death brilliant. Uh, it's just incredible scenery here. Uh, Everyone's running around taking pictures and selfies and we've got a crazy director there who's putting people in all kinds of poses. <laughs> it's actually amazing, absolutely fantastic. Just look at that. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely amazing adventure, guys. We're on our way down now. But it's, uh, this is one epic hike. And if you're ever in Newfoundland, you got to do this shit, man. you got to do it. Just make sure you get Brad as a guide. In case you don't know who Brad is, that's that dude there. <laughs> YouTube famous. Yep. Thank you. 
Probably halfway, Nick, probably. It's m more than halfway well, down. Yeah, we'll On our way down, guys. <laughs> That's where we came from. Good job, team. Big thanks to Nick and Brad for getting us down safely. Still got a ways to go, but loving it. So if you're coming to Newfoundland guys and you're into, into hiking, you got to check out this one. You really do. Absolutely epic. Pure dead brilliant. The Western Brook Pond hike up the gorge. Absolutely stunning. As I say, we're on our way down. It's starting to tell on the legs now, but got a few pictures at the top, uh, a few square crop images, a few panorama type images, different aspect ratios, a few waterfall shots. You really got to watch your feet here in this shit. This is absolutely epic. It's starting to hurt on the knees now. We're back to the part that they call Moose Meadow. The time of the evening, so it's 7 o'clock now, 6.30, so we'll be 12 hours since I got out of bed. And uh, the group are hopeful that we see some moose in this meadow. And uh, if we do, you'll be sure to see them. This has been the trip of a lifetime. I told you guys in previous videos it was going to be epic, and it didn't disappoint. So... Absolutely amazing. I'm really hoping that the uh, restaurant in Rocky Harbour is open for some fish and chips. Certainly need that after this. And then I've got about an hour's drive home. And uh, hopefully there'll be a cold one waiting for me. Maybe more than one. Oh. Sorry about the shaky video, guys. Uh, can't be helped on an adventure like this. I'm sure you'll appreciate it. Uh, man, this is just one of those bucket list things you have to do if you're in Newfoundland. Getting late in the day now, guys, and every rock, every tree stump, every obstacle, you're starting to feel it a little bit more and more. But we're not far away now. Oh shit, we just took a wrong turn. That sure is a welcome sight, the boat. A half hour boat ride back. Across the pond. And then about 15 minute drive back to base. And then it's time for some fish and chips.
So guys, it is coming to an end. What an absolutely epic adventure. Uh, absolutely amazing. Can't say a big enough thanks to the Out East Adventures guys there. Uh, Brad and Nick, the guides, absolutely amazing. And also a big special thanks goes to Lisa, believe it or not. Because uh, without her, I probably never have done it. She gave me the encouragement there uh, to go ahead, even this morning. Twice I almost cancelled. And uh, this morning, same thing. And without Lisa's encouragement, I would never have done this. So Lisa, big thanks to you. Uh, absolutely incredible. Absolutely stunning. The only thing that would have made it better is if Lisa... <laughs> the only thing that would have made it better is if Lisa would have been with me to witness that incredible view at the top. But, uh, yeah, guys, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Link's down below. Sorry if there's wind in the video and poor quality video. Stay tuned for the gallery at the end. You're going to love it. Thanks again for watching. Cheers for now. And I'll see you in the next one.